Halfway to Heroic here, and I'm here with my friend Guy, and today we will be talking about what, Mr. Moore? What if dogs had hands? <laughs> the real question. What uh, if dogs had hands? The other day. Okay, we, we gotta, like, elaborate on this a little bit, like, not what if dogs always had hands, because if they always had hands, it'd be like, oh, look, dogs with hands. No, um, yeah. what if you woke up one day... A completely normal, average seeming day, and um, suddenly your your faithful canine companion was pouring cereal for himself. Yeah, he just had hands. <laughs> I guess it'd be more of like a monkey type hand. Like a monkey type like hand. A human hand. I think that uh, you know it has the future. Yeah, that'd be uh, freaking terrifying, I think, because, I mean, dogs are known for their bite, right? So, uh, what if they bit you and, like, grab onto you? That's way more scary. <laughs> you're, you're just petting the dog, and you stop, and then it's like, grab your hand, it's like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> grab your hand with its <laughs> hand? Oh, no, no, no. Exactly. No, that, that sounds truly yeah. terrifying to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just thought, that, thought about that the other day. I was like, what if dogs had hands? <laughs> hands to where they could pet well, themselves. They wouldn't need us anymore, guy. Yeah. There's, yeah. I mean, they need to teach dogs to do a lot more things. <laughs> if you don't pet me, I will. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're just sitting down and the dog just puts its hand on your leg. <laughs> hey, <laughs> man. <laughs> You're doing all right in this world. You're doing all right. Hey, uh, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm gonna let myself out. <laughs> Undoes a lot. And leaves. And that brought me to like another terrifying like thought of like, what if dogs could like how would we go meow 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 or like ruff 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 towards animals. <laughs> What if dogs were able, or cats or whatever, were able to do that back at us? And we're like, ruff, ruff, ruff. And they're like, oh, you know, llamas and wool, am I right, buddy? And you're like, they're talking to us nonsense. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, you know, diversifying funds within the kangaroo empire. <laughs> nudge, nudge. If our, our, like, woof woof just means something weird that we don't understand in their language. Yeah. So they just do the same to us. Yeah, I, th I think that'd be both awesome and terrifying at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> They're well, learning, but not well. Hands. A talking dog with hands would be terrifying. <laughs> An Italian talking dog with hands. They emphasize. That night... You're just sleeping and he just starts talking to you. He's like, hey. <laughs> or whatever. Wake up. Hey, so, oh, how about them, uh, how about them, uh, Carpaccios, eh? No, if the dog could talk just in normal English, that'd be pretty cool. Or, you know, whatever language. Yeah, that'd be to. awesome. That'd Any, be anything that was able to talk in normal English towards us would be pretty cool. By me, utter nonsense in the middle of the night would be truly terrifying. Because I'm, I'm in, my dog likes to go out to the bathroom at like 2 o'clock at night, 4 o'clock at night. And so that would be a little a little scary having it like shake you awake with its hands and be like, I gotta go outside. <laughs> Feed me. <laughs> Not even that. It would be, <laughs> it would like shake you and be like, <clears throat> red and black striped sweaters, red and black striped sweaters. <laughs> That, that's actually terrifying to think about. <laughs> What's another animal, or I guess animal or animal hybrid that you can make that would be a little scary? Like a household animal and something else. A hybrid? Anything. Anything would be different. Like which means it would be humans. terrifying to me. Or, or lizard with... I don't know. Would, would make a lizard terrifying. Octopus tentacles. Alright, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can mix, like, anything and make it terrifying. Hamster with wings. Okay. Suddenly you got this mammal flying around and it, like, has these little sharp teeth. Yeah, terrifying. That's, that's a bat. <laughs> 
No, 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 not if it's like uh, uh, a furry and, you know, uh, stuffs a bunch of nuts in its cheeks. I don't know about nuts in its cheeks, but I'm pretty sure bats can do similar things. With nuts in its cheeks, guy, have you ever tried to stuck, uh, like, stick a bunch of nuts in a bat's cheeks? It's impossible. No, uh, bats kind of freak me out. Really? Cat loves bats. I don't think she's ever, no, like, like, actually seen like one, but... Oh, God, I fucking hate spiders. I've only seen... Yeah, I hate spiders, too. But, uh... No, I just... I think I've seen one bat in my life so far. Uh, but, like, seeing them on TV... It's like, ooh, It's just gross. Um, I heard a bat. Well, me and my, uh... Wife, not wife at the time, were walking in the forest... Because we were doing Boy Scouts mm -hmm. stuff. We were walking through the forest, and I heard a... <laughs> and I thought it was a dog, like, running towards us with its, like, neck collar jingling. So I, like, tossed mm -hmm. her behind me, and I'm like, don't worry, I'll handle this. She's like, a bat? You'll handle a bat for me? And I was like, oh, I, I thought it was a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Selfishness in action. Boy Scout stuff. You're in the Boy Scouts? No, no, I did some, uh... Man, I don't want to call it training exactly, but I was like a camp counselor type person. Uh, because, really? because I really love my wife. And she was in the Boy Scouts, so I, like, followed suit with her, and we became, like, Boy Scout counselors together. And, uh, originally I was supposed That's to take over... Cool. I was supposed to take over the position of camp counselor for swimming. And you know how well I do at swimming? <laughs> yeah. yeah, straight up freaking sink, just straight to the bottom like a rock. So that didn't pan out very well. But uh, she was camp counselor for nature, plants, knots, and birds or something like that. And I was pretty much oh, like assistant you. camp counselor person. I was a camp counselor once. Uh, a few years ago, when I was doing my internship. Oh, and, uh, like down in... I didn't camp. Jesus Christ, Santa Ana? Uh... I forget where, but yeah, I was down down in San Diego. Yeah, 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 yeah! Probably like an hour out of San Diego. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I did, uh... I did activities, so I planned out all the activities we did and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I was a camp counselor the other time, too. Yeah, and I did activities as well. Because I'm fun. <laughs> so yeah, much fun. A lot of cool stuff. I <laughs> went swimming, hiking, uh, and a few other fun stuff. Yeah, that's my camp counseling experience. I never really did a lot of camp work. I never did Boy Scouts or Eagle Scouts and stuff like that. Oh, Eagle Scouts were people who got to, like, all the badges before they hit 18. Yeah, my dad did that. My dad's an Eagle Scout. My buddy's an Eagle Scout. Or one of my old college friends was an Eagle Scout, too. Lucky? I just count, like, camp council. I just get ahead of all that stuff. I wish I did that stuff. Was I good at any of it? <sighs> no. Did I get to judge other people oh, accordingly? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> no, 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 that guy sucks. Fail him. Camping, camping is fun. I want to. I actually want to go backpacking, like off the map, in the middle of the woods. Backpacking. I don't know about like off the map, but me and Cat went backpacking a couple times up in Montana. That was pretty dope. There's like this uh, one hike you can do that goes over the top of the mountain. That's supposed to be like uh, three days if you rush it, five days if you don't. It's pretty. That's it, cool. Yeah, I want to do stuff like that. Yeah, it's awesome. I love it. <laughs> like camping and wilderness equipment, I just don't use it. Yeah, all that stuff, really. 
Oh yeah, I got tons. I got water packs, water ammo packs. I got water purifiers. I got knives, hatchets. Right. Uh, guy in backyard. Just go to your backyard. It's fine. If anybody shows up, just yell at them that you're ruining the immersion. <laughs> Yeah, I'll get back into it when all this pandemic stuff's over. Yeah, no. Definitely after all that stuff's over. What's the best joke you feel like you've come up with? Uh, oh, well, I, I can't make jokes, but there's one that I love to tell. It, it's lame, but it's one of my favorite. <laughs> he goes, what do you call a giant pile of cats? I thought about it, and I don't know. What do you call a giant pile of cats? A mountain. <laughs> okay, that's adorable. Okay, one that I came up with. Yeah, one that I came up with at work, just like randomly driving around and being like, hmm, I wonder what joke I can make out of this one. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. It's going to blow your socks off. <laughs> <laughs> Why are bicycles made out of tin, or like a popsicle, or not Pepsi, god damn it, I fucked it all up. Why are bicycles made out of uh, soda can so cool, guy? Why are bicycles made out of soda can so cool? Yeah. I don't know, why? Because they're pop cycles. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I got all excited to tell that joke that I ended up saying at the very beginning, and now I feel like an idiot. But no, that's a joke I came up with that I'm rather proud of. I'm like, this is my legacy. It's, at least you made your own. I, I've never... I can't make a... I'm not funny like that. Yeah, I want that documented not right here for lines. future generations. No, I'm, I, I, I'm not a joke person, per se. Uh, no, I'm funny other ways. You just... I, I know you are. I know you are, guy. Situational humor. Yes, yes. Not you just take a word and figure out what you can, it. like, screw around with it with. Yeah. Mmm. -hmm. If I remember, I'll say it. What? Oh, I was saying about like, camping and stuff, like eating food. I've been watching a lot of uh, like YouTube. There's a YouTube channel called what's it called. It's like best food review ever, and it's, it's for like guy camping. Who lives in Vietnam? No, no, not camping, but. Uh, he just do, does food reviews and he goes all over the world and he eats all the crazy stuff. So he like he he lives in Vietnam. He moved from America to Vietnam and he's you know like a white American guy. Loves it, loves the culture, lives there, and he just talks about all the crazy food that is naturally well, it's crazy to us in America, but in Vietnam it's completely normal. So they'll eat you know like uh, pig blood soup or fresh you know goat blood. They'll eat uh certain worms rats guinea pigs all that stuff and it's almost done and he just eats it and talks about it uh, you know turtle i've never been hungry in my entire life <laughs> it's all it actually looks pretty good like no i believe if I it. saw it in person it was like if i didn't know what was in it i'm like oh i would totally try that yeah no I, like, I've, I've been I like tricked into just... eating stuff before Oh yeah, me, me too. And <laughs> you sound like so depressed at the, uh, at the, like the thought. You're like, yeah, yeah, me too. Oh god, the memories. He'll go all over the world and eat all this crazy or to us crazy to them normal stuff. Yeah. That's really interesting. I was like, hmm. I'd eat crazy I don't stuff. I know if I could survive out in the wild. What's the craziest thing you've eaten? 
the craziest thing I've eaten? Or, yeah, I guess out of the normal. <laughs> you know, I don't think it's crazy, but I ate those, like, chocolate-covered grasshoppers or whatever. Those were pretty good. I like yeah. those. Um, I, yeah. I started eating mushrooms because, I mean, like, if I'm out in the wild and all I have is mushrooms, I'll probably die, but I'm going to try them nonetheless. I'm not a big mushroom fan. Me it's neither, just... but I'm trying. I'm trying. There's, you know, I forget. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying on a few things, but there's certain things like broccoli. Ugh, I can't eat broccoli. I love broccoli. <laughs> if I eat just... Oh, it's the taste. It makes... I have a bad gag reflex. I can't eat broccoli. Like it literally makes me gag. Same with uh, cauliflower. I've been forced to eat it when I was little, and I just can't do it. I love cauliflower too. Now, what's a food you don't like? What's a food I don't like? It's not so much a flavor, yeah, but the I'm, texture. I'm the texture of yeah, liver texture. I don't like. I agree. Because it is. just sort of like turns to mush as you chew on it. Mm -hmm. No, I, I completely understand. Liver. And uh, I'm not a fan. I won't. don't want to try it, but gizzards. <clears throat> Parts and gizzards I don't like. Uh, I had those with Grandpa. Um, they're like super chewy, but they're not bad. They're just like deep fried chicken nuggets that last longer. <laughs> Yeah, that's what my dad says, and I was like, nah. <laughs> no, 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 that's okay. Dude. More for you. Yeah, but, uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> polite pass, polite pass. What things? No, man, I, I, I could go on and on about foods I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could, because, uh, I mean, like, I eat, like, anything that's put in front of me, I'll give it a shot try things at least once as a as some I always try at, at least try something at least once but I'm just I'm picky I don't understand why I hate it yeah my wife is super but picky too not. but we're slowly like figuring out new things she likes and that gets me excited <clears throat> like uh, uh, sushi uh, I was super picky and I like I wouldn't eat it until I think I got into college and then now I love it sushi is amazing it's to me it's it's like very particular sushi that I like, like baked salmon rolls. Oh my god, so fucking mm. good. Those are good. Oh, they... Anything like, ooh, I love eel. I've never had eel, but baked salmon rolls fuel my tummy with happiness. Oh yeah, Sam I love salmon tuna, eel. Eel's really good. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> it's awfully eely. Like, if you get like a... Oh, it's a... Well, it's a little greasy and oily, but it tastes damn good on a on a sushi roll. So it's you like a little grilled eel. So it's sort of like duck, because I know duck can be really yeah, greasy if it? you cook it like not perfectly. Yeah, I'd say it's like duck, but I know that's a bad comparison. <laughs> uh, eel, the duck of the water world. Time. Don't ducks oh, float don't on it. water? No, 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 no. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, I'm uh, going back to that TV show or the, the internet show about trying all those different foods from all over the world. A lot of it looks um, amazing. You got to be like, more specific. Dang. Which one? Uh, oh. uh, actually, they make turtle look really good. I don't know if I can eat turtle. That's like my favorite animal. I'd feel really I'm bad for eating turtle. Um, I mean lobster. I'm a big. I like seafood, so lobster's pretty good. <laughs> Shrimp, clowns, all that stuff. I can see us like um, sitting there, and I'm like, "What am I about to eat?" And you're like, "It's turtle." I I can't eat turtle. It's lobster. Oh, I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's so many different ways that they prepare it. Sometimes it's just like they cut it in half, grill it, and there you go. And other times they like they chop it up really fine and they mix it with like a like a stew and you're like if you don't tell me what's in it I don't know that it's turtle dude I'm fucking terrified um, are we still talking about turtles or are we talking about lobsters now? 
Well, they were, they were talking about lobsters. <laughs> let's be, uh, let's let it be a surprise. I mean, some of it's just like, uh, it's regional cultural food that they just grew up with, and I have no way to describe it. And it's like, a, you know, a lot of it's rice based. I can eat some rice. Rice sounds good. I can go for some rice oh, right I now. Love rice. rice is delicious. Okay, guy, let's say apocalyptic Ramen. situation. Mm -hmm. Would you eat your pet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the sudden punch to the gut. <laughs> oh, I don't think I could. I think I'd rather starve than eat my pet. As my cat's lying right next to me, I whisper into the mic. Yeah, no, no, that cat is fucked. Yeah, cats, I'll eat a cat. Dog, I couldn't eat a dog. I could eat a dog. Horse. I'd eat a horse, too. Well, I mean, I could eat a horse. A survival situation? Oh, man, Anything that gets in my way is getting fucking eaten. I guarantee that right now. I feel a dog would be so much more useful for me. Then just in my belly. Uh, not if time passed and your dog wasn't bringing you back shit. Mm. If you're like, come on, let's go hunting. I guess. I guess you go out, depends. nothing comes up. A, a dog is still an option. Mm. This is my and thoughts. Would you eat human? Had to. Would you eat human? Okay. Cannibalistic. And cannibalistic. Okay, uh... I actually read an article recently uh, by, and by, I think it was the New York, not New York Times, but like New York something else, like an off-brand, and they were talking about how you could grow your own human flesh, and the caption of the people who were bringing you, like, your own human flesh was, it's not technically cannibalism. And I'm like, I don't know if, like, the catchphrase that's not technically cannibalism really pays off how you want it to. <laughs> it's not technically human flesh? Or is it actually? Uh, it's human flesh that you, like, grow. It's, a uh, homegrown for you human flesh. And the catchphrase is, it's not technically cannibalism. I wouldn't consider that human flesh then, because if you grow it, if, like if you grow it, it's not considered human flesh. You get actually carved off of the human. Because yeah. if it's if it's off of the actual human, then it's human flesh to me. If you're just like growing it in a lab, that's not human. Flesh. <laughs> it's just flesh. It's a you know, it's a discount version, discount version flesh. That's all. That's all it is. Okay, there you go. Would, like, would you eat discount version human flesh? Yes. Yeah, I'd give it a shot. <laughs> I'd give it a shot. <laughs> I'd chew it on. Uh, I'd yeah. chew it on. Much like Discovery Channel. Yeah. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Let's see what it tastes like. Pork. Uh, you know what, guy? I turn to you. It, it, it tastes a lot like gizzards, not going to lie. <laughs> very chewy, very chewy. Oh. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're done here. Damn it. I'll just gnaw on that twig over there. <laughs> but, like, survival, survival situation where we're stranded out in the middle of nowhere and I have nothing to eat except for, like, another person who have fell asleep at the worst possible time. Yeah, no, they, they get Nate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just survive. Yeah. I'll do it. Donner Party style. Yeah, roll, num um, roll numero uno. I'm numero uno. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what I'd say all the time to like my students or like my uh, my clients. Like if there's ever disaster and we have to save people, numero uno is me. <laughs> <laughs> when we get right down to it, I'm the most important person in this world. I just want to let you all know. All right, have a good day. It's like I'll say as many people as I can, but I'm making sure. Numero uno myself. Yeah. <laughs> makes it out. You got to. You got to, man. You got to make sure you're number one. Dying. If you're not number one, then you're number dead, and you don't count anymore, and you're the one getting eaten. Exactly.
And I'm sure it tastes delicious, but I want to be alive. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm too salty. Nobody wants to eat me. Playing the lawn in the like long haul here, guy. Don't eat me. I'm salty. Uh, oh, I mean, mosquitoes love me, so I'm going off of that. I have to be delicious. Yeah, all the way down here in here, like uh, mosquitoes never even bother me. So uh, if it comes down to it, guy, you might be the one being devoured. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Anyway, on to our next topic. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know we're best friends and all, but I will stay away from you. <laughs> <laughs> Just during like apocalyptic situations. This should be fine other than that. Yeah. If I survive, I'll visit. Um, <laughs> <trade> with you. <laughs> I'm going to hang out with you. I'm just going to have like my own hotel room at the time. <laughs> Yeah, sleeping separately for sure. <laughs> Guy, you even said the mosquitoes loved you. Yeah, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll take my chance with the mosquito. <laughs> <coughs> oh, man. Hopefully we'll have other options before that time comes. <laughs> I think they said, like, the first, like, probably the first week or two is probably the most hectic in it apocalyptic scenario and if you can survive that you're pretty good for well i don't think i would try and eat you within the first week i'd hope not <laughs> oh no i wasn't talking about eating people i was talking about surviving oh right right right, right. <laughs> day one guy looking awfully juicy over there <laughs> No, I mean, I... I... You're looking at me weird. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Wipe the drool away from my face. Mm, ah, um, I, I had a good dream, that's all. I don't like that look. I'm going over here. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I would... The first rule, like, first rule of survival situation is definitely try and get, like, a water. Yeah. Once you get water, you should be okay, um... I think, like, the main thing that I heard was fill up the bathtub in a survival situation. Fill up the bathtub, that way you have, like, a couple days yeah. worth of water, at least. Yeah. That, and same water in your bathtub is the same water in the toilet, if you have to. You usually drink it from the back of the toilet. Don't drink the actual toilet toilet water. Drink toilet, it's toilet clean. water. Got it. The back, the back, the back. No, 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 no. Definitely drink out of the toilet. Cats do it. You can too. Well, I mean, technically you can. <laughs> Hopefully, it's clean. So we don't catch anything. <laughs> I mean, if you do, we're not survival expert uh, experts. Let's uh, go ahead and throw that out there right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things yeah. <laughs> I've seen and heard and read. <laughs> And uh, I, I know from a legal standpoint, if it's uh, you need to eat somebody who's weaker than you, uh, you might be able to give up and like get off, uh, given that it's for the greater good. That's a rival situation. I don't really care. <laughs> Survive. If I have to face the law later, so be it. Meanwhile, get over here, Jimmy. I <laughs> well. I think in a, a post-apocalyptic, like, rules don't matter anymore. It's survive. Well, here's the thing. I heard they, they have, or, they have like, laws. Well, not laws, but, like, a uh, policy in order to collect taxes, even if, like, a zombie apocalypse hits. Oh, I'm sure they'll try. But uh, I ain't paying taxes if the zombie <laughs> apocalypse happens. No one's going to be able to work. <laughs> What's that gonna happen? Like, we're, yeah, we're, here. <laughs> we're here to collect taxes. To whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Given everything, mm -hmm. everything that's going on right now, you really think I have anything to give you? Yeah, it's like, I've got three cans of food and a jacket. How are you gonna get taxes from me? We're gonna need three of those beans, please, sir. You're gonna have to kill me first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> over my dead body are you getting three of these beans? Mm, epic. Epic. The battle of the century fighting over three beans. Survival. I mean, I'm not a fan of beans. I don't like them either. But in survival situation, you should be able to eat anything. You think that? Yeah, that's. Oh, but I'm pretty sure. That's why I started eating mushrooms because I'm like survival situation. I might have to eat these. Um, num num num. I hate them. Um, num 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 num. There you go. I mean, mushrooms aren't too bad. It's the consistency for me. They're very, uh, like, no, I don't want to say chewy, but it's like chewing on styrofoam. Yeah. I don't like that business. I mean, I, I like cooked mushrooms on pizza. I mean, I would never order mushrooms on pizza, but say if it was on the pizza. That's because you're not a monster no. guy. No, I'm not a <laughs> I like regular pepperoni pizza. Everybody knows if you order mushrooms on guess. pizza, you're a monster. That's just like fact. Exactly. Same with olives and pineapple. Psychopaths. Guy, I have news for you. I may be a psychopath. Don't say you like olives on pizza. No, I hate olives on pizza. I oh. love pineapple though. Okay, thank God. Oh. You're, you're like, that's worse. It's not the worst. I, I, I didn't even take that into consideration. Yeah. That's way worse. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would never order pineapple on pizza, but if it was there, I could eat it. I have. I would. Same mushrooms. And I Same will again. Thing. Are you doing the pineapple, like the Hawaiian style pizza with the, uh, the ham? Here's what I like and to do. I, or is it you just put <laughs> just straight up pineapple and cheese? No, I like uh, I like pineapple. I like ham, and then I like some banana peppers, some pepperoncinis. I like a Ooh, I love pepperoncinis. Yeah, I like a little bit of kick with my uh, my pizza. I'm a big fan of <laughs> barbecue chicken pizza. Yeah, with a little bit a uh, bit of uh, beef jerky on there. Yeah. Oh man yeah, man pizza. <laughs> Throwing it <him> back. <laughs> All the way to high school. What should we throw on this pizza? <laughs> oh, you know beef jerky. Oh man. Yeah, so back in high school we invented what we called man pizza. Yeah, ridiculous. Uh, it was what an all meat all meat pizza. It was all meat and... with like Hawaiian style, so instead of the marinara sauce it had barbecue sauce for the sauce. Yeah, and then we put beef jerky on it, cooked it, and it was one of the best pizzas I've ever had. Ever. Memories. Memories. I've only had it then. I've never recreated it. Well, I mean, like, we couldn't. We weren't together anymore after that, pretty much. Exactly. But one day, one day we'll get together and we'll make another man pizza. Exactly. That sounds so freaking dirty. It... <laughs> Guy, me and you, we're gonna make a sweet, sweet man pizza. Best man pizza nobody's ever seen before in this entire world. It's gonna be the best. Exactly. <laughs> I can't even think of anything to say. That's just funny. <laughs> okay, and with that, we're gonna go ahead and end uh, this session of me and Guy just, like, about another utter nonsense. Uh, so until next time, this is Halfway to Heroic and my best buddy in the world. Extra. Alright, extra. Farewell.